the guards were so calm um, and the way that they led you around and showed that they had total authority um, as, as you'd expect and we were blindfolded throughout throughout the journey and chained and um, led in there blindfolded and it's quite hard to imagine the fear taking away someone's sight um, can instill it's it makes you so frightened that um, just just close closing the eyes you 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 don't know what's around you you can you can sort of smell that um, God you can smell there's um, there's um, danger in the air and, and certainly we could hear people being beaten and um, and um, over the time we spent there which was considerable um, we got a sense that um, extremely unpleasant things happened at this at this institution we were led um, blindfolded to our solitary cells, confinement cells. Um, it was firstly uh, my cell and then um, Leon's and then David's. And um, they're very simple cells. There was um, a slightly raised concrete platform. There was no mattress. There was a, a lice-ridden blanket, um, a squat toilet, um, and um, a hose, which you could get turned on if you wanted. And... Um, then there were there were bars on the front of the the cell which faced into a um, a narrow corridor, um, and there was a there was an inspection hole so you could be you could be watched. On the ceiling there was a um, there was a a neon um, strip light which was never turned off, and on the walls which were basically white there were um, there was graffiti um, written mostly in in blood and an excrement. Um, because um, for most of the time, pens and paper were, were forbidden, as were our possessions. So, um, so a new a new sort of era in this in this captivity began when, once we had arrived there, and um, for various reasons, um, I was I was um, uh, the centre of their of their investigation and their attention, and I was. Um, interrogated um, night after night after night in um, in an interrogation cell, which was actually a torture cell, um, at the end of the corridor. And I'd always wait for the sound of, of keys jangling. Um, a lot of the time we were we were blindfolded, and um, some of the time we weren't or chained in our in our cells. But I I um, I noticed that the your senses really, um, really kick in in a different way when you're when you're extremely frightened. I should say, um, you, you, the smell of your sweat changes when you're really frightened, and this is that you're frightened that you're going to be killed um, any minute now because no one knows you're there. Um, the smell of your sweat changes. It, sm it smells like cat pee. 